Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic here today at La La Noodle at the Park MGM in Las Vegas, guys. And today, Chef AJ is working. He actually called me and said, come back, I'm working today. I'm like, oh my God, you know, I got to hang out with like a Joshua P. Warren. Oh my goodness, guys. Paranormal expert, author, podcaster. All right, say hello to Joshua P. Warren. Hello, everybody. It's an honor to be here with Danny, and I couldn't believe it when he said that Chef AJ was going to personally give us a great treat this evening. So this is like early birthday present for me. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, right. Whenever that may be. All right, so Chef AJ is over there at some other table talking it up. But we'll wait for Chef AJ to come on by. Terrific, guys. The Chef AJ, the Chef AJ, the Chef AJ. How y'all doing? Oh. You missed me three times. I said, no, you guys have to be back. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I got a special treatment for you guys tonight. Oh, yeah. special treatment from special Chef treatment. AJ. <laughs> just, uh, no allergy, nothing, right? No, just can't be spicy. Not too spicy, okay, okay, I got it. Little mild spice, okay? Mild just, spice is fine. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. How have you been, Chef AJ? We'll be, we'll be all right. Same, same busy, steady busy, you know, on and off, you know, same stuff every day. So I'm still here. All right. So, so there's going to be a month that you're not going to be here? Yeah. You know, I'm going to take uh, two weeks off, you know, in May. So oh, okay. May 9 to May 24. Okay. So don't come here during that time. You got, <laughs> got to have Chef AJ. But, my, you know, my crew's running. I got to have some breaks, too. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I gotta try to, you know, before, after summer, usually we're busy all the way. So, you know, I try to take some time off. I take some time off earlier in the year and he come out, I mean, you know, he's here. Because last year I didn't take no time off. So, earlier of the year, the January, I take another two weeks off when he's here, I'm not here. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Chef AJ, I was introduced to you through Danny's videos. And your uh, history of creating exquisite food is remarkable. So when you just go to a fast food restaurant, what fast food restaurant is near the top of your list? Oh, man. If I go to a fast food restaurant, you know, I go to the, the church chicken oh. right on Decatur. Nice. <laughs> That's the only church fried chicken I want. Nice. <laughs> You'd be surprised, yeah. I eat, you know, church of fried chicken. I love fried chicken. <laughs> Good. All right. Next video. That plate, that church fried chicken. Maybe Chef AJ will be inside. Oh. Oh, Chef AJ, what's this? This uh shelf shell crab. But uh, I do the bottom with uh, sweet uh, curry cream cheese. So is I didn't do it very spicy because you both you know not spicy, it's, but it's got some a little bit of you know the, the curry cream cheese you know dipping with that. This way you still get all the crispy and the texture from the shop shell crabs and uh, with the cream sauce. So we start with that. Oh, okay. Special one. Wow, looks great, Chef AJ. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow, wow, it looks very creatureish. I've never had soft shell crab like this before. The sauce is like a like a curry sauce, mm -hmm. and it makes it taste like a, a deep fried wonton with crab meat in it. It's, it's like inside out or something like that. Very unique. Huh? Very unique, guys. 
Never had it before. Crab is like perfectly fresh and fine. Interesting flavors. There's like a whole mix of flavors. <laughs> Smells good too. I'll give it 8.7. Very good. Oh my gosh, Chef AJ's back. This is something new. Thank you. Okay. This is, uh, I use uh, the mantau. It normally, everybody use the lotus, the lotus bun, whatever you call hoi pao, right? Lotus bun with... Uh, uh, pork belly and stuff like that, but and I do different. I use a I use a mini manto with a, a brie brisket, but with a black pepper and cheese, and then that is a like a lobster salad. I use a lobster with a, with a, you know spicy you know spicy and sweet uh, uh, mayos with uh, some uh, you know uh, caviar. So. Yeah, one is like lobster sandwich and one is like the, the beef brisket sandwich. So, trying to see. One is, yeah. It looks terrific. Thank you, Chef AJ. Thank you. Oh. Wow, guys, it's looking terrific. All right, so I'm just going to I'm just going to grab like uh, one set over here. Joshua P. Warren will help himself and so is she, and uh, let's get to eating. Wow. First, the brown one. Mm. Mm. Oh, so beefy. It's delicious. Nine, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's excellent, guys. Nine for this as well. Burst of flavor, and it is like refreshing flavor. My heavens. Oh, Chef AJ is back, guys. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. This time I make gong chao ngao ho. Oh, beef chow fun, guys. I'm so excited. Beef chow fun. I gotta make beef chow fun. But I put just a little bit of sprout, okay? Oh. So I bought a... Chef AJ. <laughs> bean sprout. That is for garnish, okay? For red. So oh, yeah, right. it's spicy. Don't bite if you like, unless you like it. So right. try my, my uh, see if it's enough or okay or not. Oh, it, it looks really, really good. So okay. so the before, the, the, uh, the, the sandwich things, uh -huh. is so delicious. So like delicious. That. But oh. eat this one first slow, okay? Okay. Yeah. Right, we eat slow. Thank you, Chef AJ. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you. All right. Absolutely. Oh my God, Chef AJ is crazy today. So, we got here beef chow fun. Terrific, guys. All right. I'm even going to eat the vegetable that's in it. So, first the beef. This is not standard beef chow fun beef, guys. I think he might have used tenderloin. Does it taste like tenderloin to you? No. I'm not an expert, but it tastes like tenderloin to me. Yeah. Wow, pricey. All right. Now, the uh, vegetable that I'm going to eat. It 
got a hint of spiciness to it. I'll give the vegetable like uh, an eight. It's pretty good. And now the chow fun. Really good. It got a little bit of seafood flavor to it. Oh. Hey guys, look, we got a viewer. Hi. <laughs> I'm delighted to be on Danny's channel. I'm here in Lala Noodle today. So keep up the good work, Danny. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Chef AJ got a plate in each hand, guys. Oh my heavens. Oh, thank you. All right. My heavens. Oh, and it's coming here as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, there's three of them. What's going on here? Oh my heavens, what's going on here? Like I said, this uh, tomato rendang. I don't use uh, shaped coconut again. I use uh, 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 tomato and tomato paste and stuff. It's, a, it's just kind of a dry curry, mm -hmm. but uh, I didn't do it in spicy too. So it's kind of a sweet taste. A little light sweet, tom tomato sweet, a little light sour, so like that. I put a light you know, Indian curry feel of with the basil. So, yeah. Take a bite and see if like, I think you like this one. Oh, wow, can't wait to try it. Thank you, Chef AJ. You're welcome. Please, enjoy, huh? Okay, after this, if you still have room for something else, I'll make something else. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I picked a bad week to go on a diet. <laughs> mm. After tonight, you can be on diet. Okay. <laughs> mm. All right, so first I'm gonna try the rice. Wow, this rice reminds me of the rice that comes inside the thing that's wrapped with leaves, you know, but not sticky. That one is sticky. This is like, got a hint of that flavor to it. Interesting. You know, you can stuff here you never had before in your life. I never had this before in my life, guys. All right, now I'm gonna try. Uh, you no, know, not not the leaves. Try a piece of this here. It looks like meat. Mmm. It's a flavorful piece of beef. Really well, really well prepared. Nine point five for a little piece of beef. So much flavor. It's like three times the flavor that you would expect. All right, now what's this? Maybe a potato. Super unique item. Give the dish a nine. I could even get a bowl of white rice and eat it along with this. It's so flavorful. Shit, you guys show up. You know, I just, I just want to uh, make it out. You know, with him, he, 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 like he here three times. You know, I'm on, I'm not here. I'm on vacation. Oh. He makes his effort. I want to make it's sure. It's nothing for you to make up. You know. Yeah, you know. man, you make an effort. I just want to make sure. You know, you are. Uh, you know, you get to uh, enjoy. I, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I've gotten to travel to many places in this world and have some great meals. This is one of the best dining experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, I mean, it was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. It just like told me now. I don't do everything. You know what they call authentic, original. You know, I, I do a lot of cross fusions, new age. You know, and, and so this way something something like I said, something new, something exciting, you know, new new age, new flavor. You know, I don't do like this, you know, typically they would do with shaved coconut, you know, instead of uh, you know, dry tomato and stuff like that. 
I, I just do things different, you know, little, little Indian, little Malay, you know, the, the rice field of is uh, Indian style with, uh, with uh, um, you know, um, you know uh, a lot of uh, chopped basil and uh, some spice, Indian spice. But the curry part on this one is very Kisan Malaysian. But again, I don't do it in, a, in a, what they call original authentic spice uh, recipe. Uh, and I, I do a twist on, on to it. Yeah, so. If somebody's watching this video right now, and that person wants to be a great chef and end up at a place like this, what advice do you have? You just, first, you, have, you just have to uh, love cooking. You gotta love people business. And you have to be open-minded, I think. Because uh, to me, cooking is like, it's, it's, it's an art, it's like an architect. So, you learn the basic, from 100 years ago, you still apply it today. Nothing's wrong with it, but it's kind of out of date. So, with a modernized now, you know, you have to be, you know, be open mind about all different cultures. You know, Italian, French, Japan, Korean, you know, you know, uh, uh, Louis, you know, Louisiana style cuisine, any cuisine. If uh, you have to enjoy food, you have to like, you have to be, you know, love, you know, cooking. Because you don't have to learn everything. But you have to. You, you would like. It would be nice to pick up the the popular you know, uh, items, the popular you know dishes that majority you know, that American people that we majority that people accept. You know, so at least you need to learn something. You need to understand you know different culture, different spice to be able to feel like I do. It just. It, it just, you know, I'm just fortunate, you know, I, I, I start from, you know, you know, Chinese, you know, uh, cooking, of course, but then I'm from Asia, it's Asian spice in my blood, right? And then I went, like I said, and I went to uh, the uh, P.F. Chang's, I went to McCoy, I went to, I, got, I went to study Japanese, you know, uh, steakhouse, everything. I, it, it's a, it's a lear my learning period. What makes me able to be very open mind and I do a lot of uh, cross matching of new age fusion is yes, because I have done all that in the past. You know, it's just fortunate. You know, yeah, everything has to be practical. All this doesn't come from book. Right. Doesn't come from book. Yeah, book give you theory, but book doesn't give you practical. No. Yeah, the practical has to come from book to be able to adjust and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're amazing. So, it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, down the point, you have to enjoy, you have to love what you're doing. I have been saying that for years, guys. Love what you do, right? Very important, right? Because if you love what you do, other people would love what you do, right? It's catchy, isn't it? Yes, you can, you can repeat that. You don't have to say I said it, you know. I think it's been said over, like, the history of mankind because it is just so true. So in this video, there were two people in here, right? At least two, that is prime examples of when you love what you do, greatness will come, right? Chef AJ loves his cooking and you can taste the love in the cooking, deliciousness everywhere, you know, flavor coming out of his uh, dishes. That's why coming out of the dishes, guys, all right? And uh, Joshua P. Warren, he loves what he does. Him and his UFO and his, and his ghosts and, you know, and he has found great success, like, doing what he does because he loves it. You know, it's like, you know, podcasting, he's on TV shows, he, he got, like, you know, all kinds of stuff going on. He has found great success because he loves it, right? There was a comment uh, someone posted a long time ago. It says, gee, I wish I could uh, go eat whatever that thing is, but uh, something about the person had to do a daily grind and pay the bills. You know, my response for that comment was, look, instead of pay the bills and do the grind, you know, consider doing something that you love. Because if you love it, there is no grind. Right? If you love it, other people will love it, right? And then the bills will be paid, you know? It's like, it's like all the great people 
that I've ever paid attention to, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He loves his like stars and stuff, and he he has found great success. Now,、uh, AC/DC, the whole group of musicians, they've been playing gigs. Oh my God, how many decades now? And they was last last I looked, they were still doing it. You know, because they love to do it. They get together and they practice and everything. Now, if you don't have love for something, right, it ain't gonna work, right. Every little thing you have to do about it, it's gonna be a chore. It's gonna be that grind. You know, the idea of having to do something you dislike to pay the bills. You know, that is a fate I would not wish upon myself. You know, all my life I've been doing what I love. You know, I'm a medic. I love that, guys. You know, it's like the all that I do is like the, the helping the people, the responding to emergencies. Like I came upon it by more or less an accident, and and I I found it. You know, I I even became an EMS instructor and have taught thousands of students in the official state classes the skills that needs to be done to you know go out there and save lives and all that stuff. You know, it's a part of me. I love it. You know, and, and a lot of people has been saying that I'm the best instructor they had because you know I also make it entertaining. You know, my lessons are entertaining. But anyway, yeah,、um, that's it for now. Now, if you're wondering, but how much, right? You can't say that, guys. In Vegas, you might be arrested, right? But how much for a meal? Featuring Chef AJ's secret menu cooking. Now I've asked him that, right? Now he did give me a special pricing because he's my friend and everything, and you know, I've known him for quite a while. He's a really cool guy. I made many videos featuring Chef AJ's cooking, delicious stuff, right? And in those videos, I think I've mentioned it before, right? That you have to call first to make sure Chef AJ is there. And it's not a set price, right? It's not too expensive. It's not like how you go to the three hundred dollar omakase or something like that. But Chef AJ, what he does, he asks you about about your preferences and and things like that. And he like it comes out of his brain. You know, he makes you some stuff. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You know, and he like chooses the ingredients. He got like a. Back kitchen somewhere I've never seen it is in the employees only area, and he like like takes ingredients from from the world or wherever you know all kinds of stuff, and, and then you know you you enjoy yourself, and、uh, I guess you could I mean I think I remember him saying something it'll be like a hundred something a person, you know which is a I think like for an experience like that, you know it is. You know, like a lot of people do it. You know, while I was there, I I've seen uh, many a、uh, VIPs return time and time again for his secret menu offering. That is some really interesting stuff, guys. Stuff I have never tasted anywhere else. Who knows these things? All right. So yeah, I'm gonna call that the end of the video. Please love what you do. All right. Have a good one. New Vegas video every Friday.